Welcome to Chapter 4 of Mathematics for the Trades. Uh, we will continue looking at ratios, proportions, and percents in this video. We're going to move on to Section 4.5 and looking at special applications of percent calculations. We're going to continue using some of the skills that we learned in 4.4 um, and some of the math translations as we look, about, uh, look at solving applications involving percent. This video will specifically focus on the applications uh, of discount uh, because it continues using uh, the, the methods that we learned about uh, in the last uh, section. The next section uh, when we look at uh, special applications using um, uh, interest, commission, efficiency, and percent change uh, will be more of a proportion based and you'll see when you get to that but um, we're going to go ahead and look at discount. Uh, discount is an important kind of uh, problem in business uh, to be able to stimulate sales. Uh, stores might offer to sell some things at a little bit less than the normal price. Uh, if you uh, buy more things at uh, a store um, or with a certain um, retailer, they might give you a discount to be able to uh, get you to come back and, and buy a little bit more. Um, the list price is the normal or what we call the original price before the discount subtracted. And the net price is the newer reduced price. And so the net price sometimes, and, and we'll refer to it in here as well, is called the discounted price or the sales price. Um, and it is always less than the list price. So we, that's really important, especially as buyers uh, that we uh, want to be able to get more for less. So let's go ahead and look at this. The list price of a tool is $18.50. And it's on a special sale and it's offered at 20% off. So what is the net price? Go ahead and pause the video. You might be able to do this one on your own just because of uh, being a, a purchaser or maybe you're in sales. So go ahead and try this one on your own and then we'll try to work it out. Go back to, if you need to, um, remembering that um, of equals multiplication and is equals, uh, um, or is is equals. So, and you can see, those in here and so that might help you a little bit with this. Okay we're back and uh, this problem um, like I said it does include uh, some of the vocabulary that we used um, for is. It's a little bit different though and it requires um, you to how to um, subtract uh, first to be able to find the discount and, and what the discount is. And so in this case, we want to make sure to understand that if something is 20% off, then what it really is, is it's 100%, it's 100% minus that 20%. And that's what the net price is. And so the net price is actually 80% of the original item. And so we're going to go ahead and find that 80% is our discount. After we've calculated our discount, then we can rephrase this by saying, what is 80% of $18.50? Because that's our list price. So if we would have said 20%, then that would have been incorrect because um, that's, uh, that's a lot more of a discount than um, what uh, they would be selling it for uh, if it was 20% of the original price. So 80% of the original price means that it's still four-fifths of the price. So we say, what is 80% of $18.50? And by doing that, we can say x equals 0.8 times 18.50 times 18.50 and in doing that we will go ahead and get our calculator and 
and fourteen dollars and eighty cents is the new price of the that is the net price or the new price the sales price of the item All right let's go ahead and look at the next one so after a 25 percent discount the net price of a five inch random orbit sander is 57 dollars so what was its list price so so 25% discount that Sander $57 is now reduced. What was the original price? I'm going to pause, see if you can try to figure this one out. And it, this one also, let me kind of give you a hint with these as we look at discounts. You always need to do a subtraction to be able to try to make sure that you are getting, um, finding out what the original price is or what the net price is. So I'll pause it there and see if you can figure this one out. Okay, we're back. So first what you want to do is you want to subtract to find what the discount is. So in this case, uh, there's a 25% discount. So really um, what the original price is, is it is 75% of the list price. So we know that that random orbital sander is 75% of the list price. So then we can go ahead and rewrite that as 75% of the list price is $57. And so we'll write this as 0.75. So we can put it in our calculator times the list price, which we don't know. So we'll call that L is or equals $57. And so going to continue here we'll get 0.75 L equals 57 we want to isolate that variable so we'll divide both sides by 0.75 and we get 76 dollars so the list price equals 76 dollars so again always make sure to go back does that make sense yep 76 dollars is more than 57 and it's about 25 percent more yeah sure that makes sense great okay let's go ahead and look at the next one a kitchen sink that retails for 884 dollars is offered to a pumping plumbing contractor for five hundred and seventy four dollars and sixty cents what discount rate is a contractor receiving so go ahead and um, think about this one think about what it's asking for what discount rate so it's looking for the discount rate is a contractor receiving so we know this is going to be a percentage go and pause it and think about what you have to subtract to be able to get that answer Okay, we're back, and let's go ahead and look at this. So first, you want to make sure to subtract to find what is the discount itself. So if it's originally $884, and he's getting it for $574.60, well, let's do the math on this. So $884, oh, this is a little faster. Minus seventy four point six three hundred and nine dollars and forty cents. So three hundred very nice discount, huh? So how can we rephrase this now? To be able to get the answer of what we're looking for. So what's the discount rate is a contractor receiving? So what we can ask then is 309% is the percentage discount of the list price. So we can just make that statement. Um, and so by saying that, let's go ahead and figure that out. And we'll say 309 
is the percent discount. And so we know that that's the discount of the list price. And the list price, remember, was the higher price. It's $884. And so let's go ahead then and we will say 800 84 excuse me 884 D equals 309 a little bit more room here get 884 so I can get D by itself eighty four and 309 divided by 884 equals point three four nine five. That equals the discount rate. And we know that that's a percent. So we'll bring that one two over, which get a little bit more room here. And we'll say that that is 35% rounded up. And so the $309 is the percentage of the discount rate. And so the discount rate was 35%. Does that make sense? Let's see, 884 divided in half would be 442. And so that's... A little bit, so 574 is a little bit more than that, so it's not all the way down at 50%. So, yeah, that would be about right. So, sounds good. So, in some situations, uh, you can get multiple discounts. Uh, it's always nice to go to uh, uh, one of the stores, big box stores, Lowe's, Home Depot, something like that. Something's on the clearance rack, and then um, you, it's a bargain. Everything in that section is another percentage off. And then you get to the front desk, and it's been damaged at checkout, and so you get another percentage off. So it's always nice to be able to get multiple discounts, and they're pretty easy to calculate. You just calculate them just one after the other. And so remember, you always want to subtract what it is that you are getting the discount from. So that's key with discount. As you're doing these problems, remember that you're going and you've got to subtract and find out what the difference is before you apply the discount. Each one of these cases, go back and watch the video so you can make sure and see what I'm talking about. So in this case, um, there's a washing machine as a list price of $740 and the yeah, the buyer gets a trade discount of 30% and then another 10% on top of that, plus a cash discount of 3%. So to determine the final cost of the washing machine, we just apply these discounts. We can do it in any order that we want, but you have to make sure that we do it in succession and using the last um, calculation, the last um, number that we got um, from the last calculation. So in this case, we're going to apply the 30% discount. And so 100% minus 30% is 70%. And so 70% of $740 is the discounted rate. And so we'll go 740 times 0.7. And it's going to be $518 is our first amount and so then we're going to go and take that number and bring it over here and say okay so the next discount was a 10% discount to the price so 10% off of 100 gives us 90% is what the number is going to be so 90% of 518 is let's see oh, 518 times 0.9 and so now the rate is going to be 466.2 actually not the rate but the uh, the price will be 466.2 
And then we're going to take another 3% off of that. So we want to make sure to figure out what the, uh, the discount is. The discount is 3%. And the difference between that is going to be 466.2 times 0 0.03. Make sure you don't do 30% um, because that would be a, a, another huge discount. And so, oh, excuse me, you know what? And it's not even 3%. What did I do wrong here? I have to subtract 100 minus 3%. I got excited because really 97% is what it's got left. So let's go ahead then. And we've got 466.2. Same thing happens to me at the register. I get so excited about discounts. And just <laughs> And then times 0.97. And that looks more reasonable. So remember, if you get something, you're like, that ah, doesn't look reasonable. Then go back and, and take a look at it. In this case, $452.21 is what they got the original um, priced washing machine, which was $740, and they got it for... $452.21 sounds like a bargain. You guys know how to do these now, so go back and watch the video. If you have any questions, remember to always do the subtraction to be able to get what that discount rate is. Okay, we'll move on to other special applications with the next video.